Hi, it's Emma Nago. So today I'm doing my lipstick declutter video. And I can already tell that this is going to be a tough one for me. <laughs> I really love my lip products and I have a hard time parting with them. So I'm going to do my best. As you can see, I have a lot of lipsticks. I counted 122. So there are definitely a few in here that I should declutter. So yeah, if you like this declutter video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section down below how many lipsticks you own. Because I feel like over 100 sounds like a lot. But I don't think it actually looks like that many. But maybe I'm just delus delusional. And it would also mean a lot to me if you would share this video on your social media. And now without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so as always, let's work from the back and outwards. So in the back here, I have these three little lip crayons by Marc Jacobs Beauty. These are actually like liquid lipsticks in a pencil form. They're very, very long lasting. Unfortunately, I don't really love the colors. All of the colors have like a shimmer to them, which I'm not that big on. But the quality is really good, so I'm going to keep these. So I have a bunch of tinted lip balms here in the back um, compartment. And I really like tinted lip balms for a more natural look. I always wear like a tinted lip balm on top of another like clear lip balm because my lips are so dry. I need, I need some moisture underneath any color. And my favorite is the baby lips in this red color. I just love the way the red tinted lip balm translates on my lips. I think it looks the most natural and also the prettiest. And you guys, I even have this like Reese's lip balm. It smells like freaking um, peanut butter. And the weirdest thing about this is that it's called a flavored lip balm. So it's not just a scented lip balm, it's supposed to be flavored. I don't know what I was on when I bought this. <laughs> this is such a strange product to have. I mean, I love Reese's little uh, peanut butter cups, but this is like doing too much. <laughs> but I do actually like the scent of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it just for the scent. <laughs> and then also the only other like clear lip balm that is back here is this W7 lip balm. And you know it's spelled B-O-M-B. -B. And as you can see, this is kind of styled after the EOS lip balm that was really popular a few years back on YouTube. And you can also see I have used quite a lot of it. It's not a bad lip balm. It does have like a nice strawberry scent. But I just can't use this anymore because nowadays my lips are so sensitive and they are so dry and they just get irritated so quickly. I really have to watch what kind of lip balm I'm using. I can't just use any regular old lip balm. So I think I'm going to declutter this lip balm. Then moving on to some actual lipsticks. I have my L'Oreal lipsticks over here. So I have all of the lipsticks from the Balmain collection. So that would be these 12. And I absolutely love them. They are some unique and beautiful colors. And then I have some different nude lipsticks. So all of these are like celebrity nude lipsticks. These ones I also really like. And then I have this random red lipstick so it looks nice enough but like the thing about l'oreal <laughs> lipsticks <laughs> is that it has like a very peculiar smell to it it literally smells like an old grandma it has like such a strong like old lady scent it's really weird like it's weird how that is also in like the balmain lipsticks it's weird how that hasn't been updated but anyway, uh, L'Oreal does make some pretty good standard lipsticks, so I'm going to keep those. And I do have a little lipstick by Fenty. This is um, Candy Venom. It's a really beautiful hot pink. I did use this in a tutorial. I did like a yellow eye with this lipstick. It's beautiful. Definitely keeping this. Then I have a NARS lipstick in Orgasm, so this goes with the Orgasm blush. This is not like my most favorite lipstick. It is a little bit gritty because it does have little gold glitters in it. It's an okay lipstick, it's nothing fantastic, but I am going to keep it. Then we have a little Lancome Rouge in Love lipstick. 
So it's like this coral color. It doesn't have a name because it came in a gift set. But it is a pretty color. It's like a cream finish. So I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I will just look through the rest the rest of my lipsticks and see if I have any color that's close to this. And then I'll decide afterwards, after that, if I'm going to declutter this one or not. Then all the rest in here are my MAC lipsticks. And I'm just gonna say it right now, I'm not gonna get rid of any of my MAC lipsticks. Even the ones that I'm not using anymore. Like for instance, I have this Viva Glam Nikki number 2. You see this like lilac lipstick. I'm never... <sighs> I'm never using it. Um, it's not the most flattering color on me either, but I just love it. It has so many memories. So all of these lipsticks are getting kept. And actually this is the original Viva Glam Nikki. I've used a lot of it as you can see. And I was actually wearing this to a Nikki concert and I met Nikki and I told her I was wearing this lipstick. So yeah, and she called me a beautiful little ladybug and yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was a nice night. So yeah, anyway. All of this is staying and honestly to me MAC lipsticks are just on another level. Generally MAC lip products are the best in my opinion. I have not found anyone that does lip liners, lipsticks and lip glosses better than MAC. Like honestly nothing comes close. I like other lipsticks obviously. I have many other lipsticks but there is no other lipstick I love as much as a MAC lipstick. So anyway, let's move on to over here. So I have a couple, or well I have three, Il Maquillage lipsticks. And these are from the Kylie Bible collection. I'm going to keep all of these. Then I have two lipsticks from um, KKW Beauty. And both of these KKW Beauty lipsticks are in like nude colors. But they are a little too dark for me to use as straight up nudes. So that's why I haven't worn them that much. But I do like them and I'm going to keep both of them. Then I do have a bunch of Primark Beauty lipsticks. And these are actually beautiful and such a good lipstick for the price. So I'm going to keep those. I also have a few of these Essence Matte 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 lipsticks. These are also the business. If you like that really true matte lipstick, this is great. Like, do you see the color of this? It looks so stunning. So I'm definitely keeping those three. I also have this long lasting lipstick by Essence. This is in a, like a dusty mauve, kind of dusty rose color. And this one I'm also keeping. Then I have these lipsticks from NYX in like crazy colors. So this one is like a gray color. The other one I have is coconut, which is a white. And then, um, which one is this one? This one is called Chambord and it's a black. And I love these ones as well. I'm going to keep them. Then I have a few Estee Lauder lipsticks. This one in Vanilla Truffle is so pretty. It works almost the same as MAC Myth, which is one of my favorites. It's over here. I'm going to keep those as well. This one is actually also so pretty. It's a really nice, super bright pink. I'm going to keep this. So this lipstick by Maybelline in the color Tropical Pink. This is like a jelly lipstick. As you can see, it looks kind of like transparent. This one reminds me a lot of my Vin Winky Lux lipstick. So the Winky Lux looks like this. You can see it has a little flower and this one is clear, but it shows up kind of in the same manner. The Maybelline shows up more pink and this one shows up a little bit lighter, but they do kind of the same thing. And honestly, <sighs> I thought I might be ready to part with this lipstick, but after looking at it again, I'm just not ready and I'm gonna keep it. I do also have this little Color Mates uh, lipstick. So this one is like a frosty finish and it's a nice mauve color. And I'm gonna keep this as well. And I also have two Rimmel lipsticks. And actually while I was looking at this color, it reminded me a lot of my Morange uh, lipstick by MAC. And you can see just how close these are. Oops. I just swatched it on a paper towel, so excuse me. Yeah, these are like extremely similar. They are so gorgeous. So yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep both of these Rimmel lipsticks. Then I also have this Sephora Collection lipstick, and this is like a straight up gold, like a super shimmery gold lipstick. 
I'm gonna keep this as well. Then I have this PH Cosmetics green lipstick. This is so freaking pretty. I'm going to keep this as well. Then I have this Ebony lipstick by W7 in the color Chic. This is like a beautiful dark warm nude. I'm going to keep it. Then I also have a Makeup Revolution lipstick in the color Lux. So this is very close to the lipstick I just showed you. Just slightly deeper. And I'm going to keep this as well. Then I have these little W7 lipsticks. So the thing about these lipsticks is that they are actually pretty decent quality. It's just the packaging really sucks. Many of them get really smooshed when you apply them on your lips because it's not secure in the little bullet. So hopefully you can tell when I hold them up to you like this that they are just so messy. So I think the worst ones, which would be these, I'm going to declutter these and then I'm going to keep the rest. I actually especially love this pink color, it's so beautiful. And then I also have this natural collection lipstick in thick leaf. And I hope you can tell that this one kind of does the same thing where it doesn't sit securely in the bullet. So when you go to apply it, it gets like wiggled all around. So that's really annoying, but I have been putting up with it because the color is stunning and really unique. And also it's just super moisturizing. So it doesn't like emphasize any dry patches on my lips. So I am going to keep this. Okay, so now let's do the lipsticks over here. Over here I have Wet n Wild, Elf and New York color. Okay, let me show you guys this color. Okay, I have used this a lot. This is called Breeze by Wet n Wild. It's such a beautiful, super shimmery, metallic, almost um, nude color. Like so many of these Wet n Wild lipsticks, I just love them. The colors are just fabulous. Like another color I would wear a lot is Pink Nouveau. Moving on to the e.l.f. lipsticks. This color, Nostalgic, is such a beautiful, super light, like highlight lipstick for fair skin. But look at how it's looking, okay? It's one of those where it gets smooshed to the side. It looks ridiculous, right? I don't, I don't understand why the packaging gotta suck this much when the product is so good. And usually I don't really care about the packaging as long as the product is good. But for lipsticks, I do care about the packaging because look at this. Like, Okay, this one you guys, as you can see, the lipstick is not even visible through the little clear window. And that is because it's stuck in the cap. <laughs> look at this. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Okay, this one, this one I'll have to get rid of. But the rest are usable, so I'm going to keep them. The next up I have a Wet n Wild like matte lipstick. This one is in the color Bear It All. This one is really old and it's really dry. So I'm going to declutter this. So all of the rest over here in the black packaging are New York Color. And of course New York Color is not even in business anymore. But I just love these lipsticks so much and I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to keep them. Okay so here we have the things I decluttered. I know this was pretty sad. That's not a lot of decluttering. Let me know down below what else you think I should declutter. I don't know why I just have a hard time like parting with my lipsticks. So yeah, this was the best I could do for now. But please let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of this declutter video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel and push um, the notification bell so you can get notifications whenever I upload. And that is all. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.